So it's interesting because when I hear about social determinants and all the buzz around it now, we've had social determinants of health for hundreds of years. I mean, it's really nothing new. Um, I guess I'd say the great thing is that we are really, you know, looking at it now. Where before we did little things, but now we're really focusing on it. So yes, the role of social determinants and case management. So as case managers, we've always known the effect. If I don't have a place to live, you know, if I don't belong, if I don't have food, I don't have something to drink, how are we ever going to help patients get to their goals? So for a case manager, all this attention on social determinants is just going to help the, social, the case manager get our patients to the next level where they need to be. Well, I think we're just starting. Um, I don't think everyone knows what a case manager could provide. And the other thing we need to keep in mind is the term case manager is so widely used. So we have nurse case managers, we have social work case managers, we have mental health, behavioral health, addiction. So there's all these different people that are called case managers. Um, each of them have the same goal at the end of the day, but what they're doing and the work they're doing is very different. And even though many times they kind of collaborate with each other. So I do believe there's a, a bigger future in case management we're seeing today. Um, I think that case management needs to prove itself and certain organizations or certain people have not embraced what a case manager could drive and we have to continue to do that.